What are you influenced by? I'm influenced by the sky, the environment, the universe. Who am I kidding? I'm influenced by YouTube and pop culture. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup Maria from Miami. Today we're talking luxury summer makeup. I purchased way too much and so I'm actually going to do two videos. In this first video we're going to focus on Surratt Beauty. Here are some of the products that I purchased, just some, and RMS. I actually have RMS on one side of my face and Surratt on the other side of my face. So and I'm not going to tell you till later. You have to guess. I was influenced by watching Drag Race and the beautiful eyeshadow looks that the queens are often sporting. Also, I watched Saltburn on Netflix and at the end of the film, there's this great song called Murder on the Dance Floor. <laughs> and uh, if you know, you know. And the woman who sings that song has this video, music video with this beautiful green eyeshadow look and that inspired me. I also was very much inspired by Maison Margelle's fashion moment with uh, Pat McGrath's glassy skin and featuring the effervescent actress Gwendolyn Christie. Love. So if you're ready, let's talk about Surratt and RMS in this part one of luxury makeup for the summer. Okay, so let's start with Surratt. I was influenced by a lot of content creators on YouTube. Uh, seems that many of them like Surat, talk about it a lot. And I just wanted to know what the fuss was all about, so I indulged myself. Here are the blushes, the contour and the two blush blushes that I purchased. It's uh, Grisal is the medium taupe contour cantaloupe, which is a matte golden melon and ponceau also a satin salmon pink. Salmon pink is like one of my favorite colors. And so the, um, these are matte powders and they're very, very smooth. They have a really nice texture to them. I think they're mature friendly and, and they're beautiful. The issue with that I have, I guess, with Surat is you have to purchase everything separately so you have to purchase the container separately and that's you end up buying more than you um, wanted to because you have to fill up the palette so and it's a little confusing also I'm not thrilled with the way they set it up on the website although they really do try to make it easy for you it's a little tricky for me <laughs> but the products are gorgeous and I they're easy to wear they're blendable they're smooth they're a beautiful color um, and they last particularly a decent amount, not, not tremendous. Neither side, neither one lasted that much because they're actually both kind of fading, but I, I do like the product. Anyway, their eye products are divine. I think that that's where they really shine. I've got this beigey color that I don't want to show you because it already cracked. This is in chamois. And this green color, again, really, really pretty colors. So it's a nice forest green. So I also purchased the souffle, one of the, I actually purchased two souffle eyeshadows. And this is in the color, oof, Nuage d'Argent. I don't know. And this is that weird texture that's kind of, <laughs> I don't know what it's like some kind of something we used to play with when we were kids that's what it reminds me of and it's very pretty what I like to use is a topper because it does have that shine and that glitter and it is definitely very nice as far as being for mature eyelids but um, not really a lot of pigment it's mostly a lot of a lot of shine so that's right Okay, now let's talk about RMS. I purchased two of their blush. One is in Crystal Slipper, which is this beautiful color. And then this one is Bohemian Girl. I had purchased Crystal Slipper, and then I saw Bohemian Girl and fell in love with that one. 
because that again is my kind of color that's that again that salmon pinky peach color that I absolutely love so I'll swatch both of these side by side so you can see I got an email and I got the offer of an RMS artist giving you a one-on-one -on -one. and so I signed up for that and hence all these products that I purchased then they went out they went ahead and, and released bronzers and that I just couldn't resist I purchased Beachwalk Betty and tan lines and if I I don't think you need both I certainly don't but um, I bought I purchased Beachwalk Betty first and the tan lines came out was 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 sold out so I couldn't purchase it that's tan lines and this is I'm sorry that was beach walk beach walk Betty and this is tan lines and tan lines is just a little less warm and I so I like it better so I purchased that you'll see so that's tan lines and beach walk Betty so Peach Walk Betty is a little bit warmer. It's the first one. The second one is Tan Lines. And then you have Crystal Slipper and then Bohemian Girl in that order. And they're just, they're beautiful products. They are smooth, they blend well. They have a little bit, what's different between the RMS and the Surratt is the RMS has a nice kind of a glow, glittery even but not really glittery but it's a little bit of a of a sheen I would say and so I think that it's one of those things that's great about this product is that it's got a nice sheen and it still looks good I think on mature skin at least I felt like it good it worked on my mature you know large pores dimples all kinds of you know imperfections and I, I liked how it came out so I also purchased two two eye lights, one in Moon Dust and one in Eclipse. So there's Moon Dust, which is a beigey color, and Eclipse, which is another greeny color. I'll do swatches in a moment. Okay, so here is Eclipse. It comes in this. I'm not that crazy about the packaging because the stuff comes out very quickly. So. I mean, you do. You will have eyeshadow for a long time. I'll give you that. But and it comes with like a little key that helps you get the product out. Although, you know, I don't know if you'll ever get to that point because it's just it's a lot. And this is the color Moon Dust. It's the beautiful names, and it's also Clean Beauty. I mean, I don't prescribe to Clean Beauty. It's a marketing term, so it's not really something that I pay that much attention to but if that's something that you pay attention to that is they are they claim to be clean beauty so they're beautiful colors they're a little less friendly on the eyes for mature mature skin although if you like it rock it um, I'm nothing against wearing shimmery glittery eyeshadow if you have mature eyes but this one was a little less kind to me than the Surratt eyeshadows that's my opinion but um, they're beautiful. I do like it. Oh, I also purchased two lip products. I purchased the, and I'm actually wearing Audrey in one of those balmy things, the kind that annoys me because they don't, you, you can only twist them up but not twist them down, which I really, really kind of hate. I have that on over the lip lights. And the lip lights are very nice. It's a very moisturizing, but again, it's the same packaging where the stuff like just starts, when you start squeezing it out, you get too much of it. And it's just so much. It's like, when are you ever gonna get through all this stuff? But I guess for some people that'll work, but very moisturizing. I like wearing this underneath the Audrey. Yeah, very pretty. So that's RMS. Okay, if you're still watching, or maybe you sped up, you know that RMS is on this side and Surratt is on that side. And same with the eyes. RMS on here, 
threat here. So I went and asked my adult children what they thought. I got interesting comment. One was that the RMSI was cuter because of the shine, glitter, sparkle, or whatever it is. It's not really glitter, it's the sheen, I guess. And then the other one said that this side was cuter because it kind of hid imperfections. You could tell, you could see the pores more on the glittery side than the matte side, which I guess is, you know, what everyone knows, you know. Most of the time, matte is, is more likely to not emphasize texture. Although, I think, for me personally, I like the shiny side. I'm, I'm all about glow. It's so funny, my whole life I hated glow. I had oily skin, fought it all the time, was always into matte. Now that I'm older, my skin is dry, and all I'm into is glow, glow, glow. So I like the shine. I don't mind that it emphasizes the texture, I, although I don't think it emphasizes it that much. But for the face product, I think I'm an RMS person more so. I mean, these are the, the, the Surratt is beautiful. Not that there's anything wrong with the Surratt. It's gorgeous. And I will certainly get some use out of it. I just think that I'm, I get excited from wearing the RMS more so. As far as the eyes, it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> um, you'll see that the RMS is it has more pigment but it isn't for me at least on my eyes as uh, mature eye friendly as the Surratt. The Surratt seems to be a little softer and, and more mature eye friendly so I think for the eyes I prefer the Surratt which is on this side than the RMS although again it's beautiful it has impact I will get some use out of it I will just be strategic in how I Put it on my eyes. I will make sure not to put, for example, the very shimmery part on the inside of the eye. I'll put it in the center and then put the darker, the darker eyeshadow on the on the sides, which is the way I put on eyeshadow because I think that as you get older, you certainly can put on whatever you want, but you're maybe a little more strategic about the placement of the product. So anyway, those were my semi-final thoughts because I haven't played with them that much. I just kind of started playing with them. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Luxury Summer Part 2, which will be my next video. And um, abortion is healthcare. Don't forget to wear sunscreen. Peace.